Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mac Flash Trivia. My name is Francois and I'll be your host for the next little bit. This is Mac Flash Trivia Quickies. And what do I have for you today? It's all about Weird Al Yankovic. That's right, part of Parody Week here on Mac Flash Trivia. Make sure you do check out the other ones that we've put out uh, this week, including Spaceballs and The Lonely Island. Uh, how's this going to work? I've got 10 questions in the regular round uh, and then 15 questions in the speed round. You're going to want to keep track of your answers at home using a piece of paper or the official form available in the video description below because at the end of the show I'll give you the correct answers you'll be able to mark yourself and find out who of your friends know the most about Weird Al I do have to tell you this is going to be Weird Al's parody work but while doing this quiz I realize there's a lot more knowledge to be quizzed on so be ready for a full scale Weird Al trivia coming very soon on the Mac Flash channel. But for now, let's take a look at Weird Al's parodies. Starting with question number one, Weird Al is known for his polkas, which collect multiple songs into one singular polka mashup. What is the only complete single song he has covered as a polka? Round one, question number two. What Italian meal displaces the usual Spanish background of La Bamba in the Weird Al parody? Question number three coming up right now. How many Michael Jackson parodies has Weird Al done? And can you name them? Round one, question number four. American Pie by Don McLean is the vehicle for Al's Star Wars tribute. To whom does he pay homage using the Billy Joel hit, Piano Man? Here comes question number five for round one. Whereas R. Kelly was trapped in the closet, Weird Al had him facing similar distress in what familiar location? Question number six for round one. In an impeccable style tribute to Jack White, Weird Al sings about a CNR, a man who unhinged his jaw and swallowed a Volkswagen hole, among other impressive feats. What does CNR stand for?
Question number seven is here, and it wants to know what 1994 Tom Hanks movie is the inspiration for Weird Al's spoof of Lump by the Presidents of the United States of America. Round one, question number eight. According to Rye or the Kaiser, the theme to Rocky 13, Weird Al's parody of Survivor's Eye of the Tiger, Rocky now works in what type of establishment? Question number nine for round one. Speaking of which, Weird Al spoofed another Rocky related song, James Brown's Living in America. What is it called? And finally, number 10 in the regular round, when he parodies something, there's a good chance Weird Al will make it about food. What did he manage to turn the Cherry Pop and Daddy's Zoot Suit Riot into? And there you have it. That is the end of the regular round or round at number one. I hope you enjoyed those questions about Weird Al and his parodies. I've got more coming up in a speed round, so hang tight. And of course, if you haven't done so, take a look around the channel because we do have a Lonely Island trivia that was released at the same time as this one. And earlier on this week, Spaceballs was also included in Parody Week. Uh, and uh, of course, more Weird Al coming up very soon, so you're going to want to subscribe subscribe to our channel so that uh, you are made aware when that is released. Well, let's keep moving right now with uh, what I like to call Alapalooza, uh, inspired, of course, by one of his many great albums. Uh, for each set of lyrics, I want you to name the Weird Al parody. I hesitated a long time as to whether or not you should give me the name of the real song or the name of the parody, but I thought this is a Weird Al trivia. If you are here, you know the titles. So for each given set of lyric name the weird al parody by title there are 15 of them for 25 seconds each number one well maple syrup and snows what they export they treat curling just like it's a real sport they think their silly accent is so cute can't understand a thing they're talking about what is the name of this parody Number two, my mama told me when I was hatched, act like a superstar. Save your allowance, buy a bubble dress, and someday you will go far. Number three. 
Number three, so I got my handcuffs, my cyanide pills, my classified dossier. Tapping the phones like yeah, shredding the files like yeah. If you're finding this too tough, just write down the name of the original song that's being spoofed and you'll feel a little better about yourself at the end. Number four, first in my class here at MIT, got skills, I'm a champion at D&D, MC Escher, that's my favorite MC, keep your 40, I'll just have an Earl Grey tea. Number five, now I'm mumbling and I'm screaming and I don't know what I'm singing. Crank the volume, ears are bleeding. I still don't know what I'm singing. Number six, it's a fact, I'm a quack, the disgrace of the AMA, cause my patients die, yeah my patients die, before they can pay. Number seven, hitching up the buggy, churning lots of butter. Raise the barn on Monday, soon I'll raise another. Once again, you are naming the Weird Al songs for each of these sets of lyrics. Number eight, tell me why I need another pet rock. Tell me why I got that alpha alarm clock. Tell me why I bid on Shatner's old toupee. Number nine. Some girls like to buy new shoes and others like driving trucks and wearing tattoos. There's only one thing that they all like a bunch. Number 10, I meet some chick, ask her this or that. Like, are you pregnant girl or just really fat? Number 11, yo, remote is ready. Eyes wide, palms are sweaty. There's Flintstones on the TV already. Wilma and Betty. Number 12. Your greasy hands, your salty lips. Looks like you found the chips. Your belly ache, your teeth grind. Some tater tots would blow your mind. Number 13. First things first, I'm a craftsman. Remodeling is my only passion. And I'm the greatest in the business. Want referrals, yo? My clientele will bear you witness. Number 14. What you want to do? You want to be a hacker? Code cracker? Slackers? Working 9 to 5 at Hewlett Packard?
number 15. People used to scoff, now they say Mazel Tov. He's such a macher cause he works his tuchus off. Yeah, he keeps his cool and he teaches shul what's not to like. And there you have it, the end of our Weird Al quiz concluding this parody week right here. We're going to have to do this again. I am a big fan of parodies, as uh, must you be for being here and playing a Weird Al quiz. Of course, keep your ear to the ground because as I said, uh, plenty more of knowledge needs to be shared about Weird Al. And so I am planning a full size quiz to complete this quickie. Uh, Apart from that, that's about all the time I've got today. My name is Francois and I have been your host. I've got your answers coming up in just a little bit on the screen, so hang tight and I'll see you next time on Mac Flash Trivia. Bye bye. <laughs>